All right, we're going to open up the first Avalon that I received. I don't know if you guys can see, there's a small little dent in the box right there, but I checked, there's plenty of padding. Shouldn't be an issue. Um, it looks like the entire thing is covered in tape, so uh, I don't know where to start opening it, to be honest. There we go. We got some progress. And there. She is open. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an Avalon. I think there's at least one thing loose inside of it. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Brushed aluminum. Nice black. Anodized to it. Looks good. It looks really, really nice, guys. I hope that's shown up well in the video. Oh, that's beautiful. There we go. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a batch number two Avalon mining machine. And damn, is it gorgeous. I'm sorry, but this is a this is a pretty piece of equipment. It's a sexy beast, I like it. Um I would like to open this up and take a look inside so you guys can see what's in there. Um, I'm going to get some tools to crack this puppy open and be right back. Alright, so um, it looks like these nuts take an Allen wrench just fine. So I'm unscrewing this one right here. There we go. Out she comes. And uh, I don't think I showed it before, but... In the camera, and it's angled this up a little bit. Uh, power supply unit, uh, fans, we have an Ethernet jack right here, and this is the uh, external antenna for Wi Fi connection. And uh, yeah, not much else. Alright, let's get back to unscrewing. There's the first one. Yeah, okay, so, uh, I was unscrewing the wrong side, apparently. Yeah, the side with all the other screws in the middle. Yeah, those are attached to the modules. Yeah, yeah. So, there goes ten minutes of my life. Anyway, I think this is the right side now. I left the top on. I haven't even looked in. So we're all looking together. Let's take a look inside. Oh. All right, um... See here, hold on, I gotta put the uh, cover somewhere. And I will pick up my camera. And there you go. Um, on first inspection, everything looks pretty good to me. You can see a 750 watt power supply all crammed in there. Modules look fine, they're straight up. It doesn't look like they banged into each other or anything. And uh, I didn't see this in any of the other pictures. This might be new. There's like this um, airflow panel right here. It's just a sheet of metal sticking up, which I guess is directing the uh, airflow from these fans uh, onto the modules. So that might be new. I don't, I'm not sure. Um, there's the little wireless router controller Majuger. And yeah, there's, uh, you know. What else is there to say, right? Um, I think all the other control units are down below these cables, which I don't really want to. I don't want to dig in there too much. I'm going to do a quick inspection, make sure everything's plugged in and stuff like that. But uh, I'm going to get this puppy booted up. So there you go, 66 giga hashes of pure, unadulterated cocaine. Um, I mean bitcoins. Yeah. Bitcoins. Yes. Bitcoins. Not cocaine. Okay. Alright. Alright, one more thing. This, this is the last thing. Or, probably not the last thing. But you guys gotta hear this. I hope this comes out on the video. Alright, I'm gonna switch this puppy on. Listen to this. 
Wait for it. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Listen to that pupper. Whew. That thing revs up. It's like a jet engine. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Sorry. I thought it was funny. This is a pretty piece of equipment. 